Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and the ATP have come out and said that they're going to be making some changes to some of the regulations going into the 2022 season, particularly regarding medical timeouts and also the bathroom breaks, which has been a big issue over the last couple of months. This is what a source from the ATP has come out and said. So a source from the ATP has come out and said there will be a change to the rules for bathroom breaks and on-court medical timeouts as well. I hope that before the next season begins in January, we will have a stricter rule when it comes to toilet breaks and medical timeouts. I think it's getting to the point where it's definitely becoming a big issue. It's been an issue for a long time, but we are taking quite a serious approach now to try and change it. So there you have it. The ATP have come out and said that they are gonna be changing some of the medical timeouts and of course the toilet breaks, which has been a big issue in the past. So as the regulations stand at the moment, you can have a medical timeout for three minutes during your match. And we all know that, you know, some players use them for their benefit. Some of them, you know, obviously aren't as injured as maybe as they perceive. So it'd be interesting to see what they do to change that over the next couple of years and of course into the new season. But it's the toilet breaks. They've been the biggest issue with players like Andy Murray, Alexander Zverev coming out and saying against guys like Tsitsipas that the toilet breaks are just taking way too long. But it is interesting because there's players like Novak Djokovic who have come out in support of Tsitsipas and he obviously does use a lot of uh, the toilet breaks as well. Maybe not to the extent of Tsitsipas, you know, seven, eight minutes long. But he does actually use them to his benefit as well because the rules do say you can leave the court once in a three-set match or twice in a five-set match but there's no time limit. That is being the biggest issue. There's no time limit on how long you can leave the court. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think the time limit should be? Should it be five minutes to go to the bathroom between sets and come back? At the moment, it seems to be about seven or eight minutes with guys like City Pass, who take way longer than probably most players would appreciate. We know Zverev and Murray definitely don't appreciate City Pass leaving the court between sets for eight minutes at a time. Let me know down in the comments below. What do you think is the perfect time for a toilet break between sets? So the ATP, they're making a change to medical timeouts and toilet breaks going into the new season.